TubeBuddy. Get started for free. Go to neilshafer.com slash TubeBuddy. So I think TubeBuddy especially is very confusing because you go to TubeBuddy.com, you see a bunch of stuff, but you don't really see the AI functionality. Where you see the AI functionality is when you go into your channel on YouTube. You're looking at the YouTube studio, the back end of my YouTube channel, and this is where you begin to see the TubeBuddy functionality. So check this out. Suggested shorts. Analyze your videos to discover which moments have the highest retention rate. It might work well as a short. So I am going to go to suggested shorts, and this is using AI to suggest looking at retention time graphs. This is a really compelling way of utilizing. You'll see I had a 107% ret retention increase from 2 minutes 21 to 2 minutes 36 of this video that I just published two days ago, Insights from the Generative AI Conference. If I were to click on it, it's going to take you to the, the actual place. And then obviously, um, whether I'm working with a video editor or within YouTube Studio, I can now pick those 15 seconds from this one on how to launch a podcast from scratch, 2447 to 2502. The retention increase means that people are going back and they're watching it again, probably. So that's one pretty cool feature. There's a lot of cool things here. Another one that I love is Click Magnet. Once again, it's using analytics, it's using machine learning, it's using AI. In this case, it's using visual AI. So check this out. So I love the element inspector. This is telling me of my thumbnails. I don't have many thumbnails without faces. The reason is because I realize that when I publish thumbnails with faces, I get a much higher click-through rate. Now my click-through rates are really low. I'm really over the past month, I've been investing more into YouTube, so I'm hoping to raise these, but clearly I am on the right path because of the AI. And you may not think that this is AI analytics, but it is visually analyzing the thumbnails to decide what has a face, what doesn't have a face. What's really cool is when we get into emotions. When I am happy, I am getting a higher click-through rate than when I am surprised. So I was going through a period where I had these like Mr. Beast looking thumbnails where I had that like surprise look on my face, but guess what? People like happy Neil. And that's why I've changed my thumbnails to be all happy. And obviously they're performing. Here's another one, size of face. So mixed size faces, this I think is, um, okay, well that's, that is when uh, I did the Zach King one. But um, it, what it's saying is when I have a medium shot, which are like these, the, this is my current thumbnail, um, that is actually doing better than if I'm a little bit too close. That's my YouTube short, or if I'm further away. Like these are my older thumbnails where you see I'm a lot further away. I don't know why that one's there um, compared to my more recent ones where you see me a lot more close up. So this is giving me fantastic, fantastic advice on how to fine tune my YouTube thumbnails in order to uh, improve click through rate, get more views, get more subscribers, and just continue to increase my visibility in YouTube. There's much more uh, when it comes to TubeBuddy AI than this but I just wanna give you a quick feel um, for what is possible using a tool like this.